All right, guys. Thursday, March 25th. Very, very hello. Good and talk, as always. And sunny greetings right here from Fort Lauderdale. So let me check first if we are live. You know, so Facebook is always a little bit behind. I just want to make sure that you can see and can hear me. So let me check in the group if we are there. Let me know when you are here so that we know that you can see me, but also if you can hear me. Most important, if you can hear me, right? One times I did like forgot to turn my mic on. So, and I was bubbling and bubbling and nobody could understand. But uh, since then, I'm always asking if you can hear me. So let me know. And if you are here with us, just say a quick hello. So I know uh, I have you here with me and can watch your question. So today we want to talk about effective marketing, right? So somebody was asking in the group, what is the best single effective marketing? And I want to give you my spin on it because times changed, right? And what once worked back in the days maybe doesn't work anymore today. So when we are talking about marketing, we are talking about strategy. So let me talk about a little bit more about the best marketing. You can put marketing out there, but if you have no strategy behind it, it will not do you any good. So let me know when you have any question, put them down below. I will go after we do the live or after I uh, finish, I will go to all the questions. So, but let's go in, let's get people some time. Facebook is always a little bit behind so that they can come on and see what we are doing. Today, we want to talk about the best marketing strategies that work today. So 30 years ago, we didn't, or we just started out with the internet. It was not that well known, only huge companies, huge internet. But that changed, right? So marketing strategies always change. But the principle at the end are still the same. So, and I want to go through with you today, what is the best, the single best right now and the most effective. And I will give you a little bit, I write it down behind me so that you can follow me along because we are talking about strategies. Marketing itself, it will do you nothing. You need a whole strategy so that you know what you are doing from the get-go. So from the beginning, you want to know what you want to put out there in marketing, and that is a whole strategy at itself. For today, in today's world, social media is the most best single marketing strategy you are having. So let me put down here social media and you will quickly understand where I am going with. So social media, what is social media? With social media, you are able to network where you meet other people as you would be on the street. So social media makes it very, very easy for you to, to reach the mass masses and reach the people you want to reach. Not only when we did door knocking, now you can do online door knocking out there. So social media is the most effective marketing strategy you are having on your fingertips. So now, we want to go down a little bit more. That's what I believe you are looking for. It's the same thing in real estate. You work with buyer or seller, right? So now when we are working with buyers, now we can really, really, really niche down where we are talking about which buyer we are working with. Are we working with first time home buyers? Are we working with veterans? Are we working with move up buyers, second home buyers, retirees? You know where I'm going with that, right? That is the same thing in social media. So many platforms out there 
what I would recommend you start with one, only with one and get to know that platform very well, know how it works, know how it ticks so that you understand the, the platform and know what you are doing. But before you do anything or want to put anything out there, what we are doing is we are starting with research, right? So we are researching what the market wants from us. We are not just putting something out there. We are doing really, really deep uh, research what people want. So in real estate right now, probably most of the buyers want houses. So now you have to think about how you get houses for your buyers. That is a strategy. Now you have to research. When we are talking to realtors, we know now they want sellers. Now we have to research where we get sellers, how they responding, how do, uh, do people follow up when we are getting them leads. So that is all. We first want to research what your market really, really wants from you. That is a huge, huge part. And when you miss that part, your marketing or your advertising or however you what you want to do that can go quickly south if you put something out what people are not interested on in. so with our research now we can go into different pl platforms so we have facebook we have google <coughs> we have uh, youtube We have TikTok. So and so on, so on, so on. So we have LinkedIn. So now you do your research on each of the platforms. You want to know what is going on. Who are the people on Facebook? Who are the people on Google? Who are the people on YouTube? Who are the people on TikTok? Who are the people on LinkedIn and so forth. So now you do your research and you can do it different ways. You can ask questions. You can put um, a research a campaign out there where you are asking certain questions so that you know what people want. You need to understand now each platform. When you want to go out there and want to reach ready and able sellers or buyers, I believe Facebook is not the best platform to start with. When we want to get into the known, into omnipresent, Facebook and YouTube or TikTok and Google, they are all perfect. To starting a relationship, Facebook is a very, very good tool where you now can start your relationship that people get to know you. If you want to have sellers right now, we are going into Google and to YouTube. Now we know the people on Google and YouTube. When you are finding people on Google, they, those people know they have a problem, but they don't have the solution yet. When we are on YouTube, people know they have a problem and they know the solution and they are looking for the solution on, TikTok, uh, on, on YouTube. Now Facebook and TikTok, they are more there to take a look what their friends and family are doing. And now when they see your information, they should be entertaining. They get to know you first before you really, really go down there and put them through your funnel. So you want to do your research where you want to do your marketing. What people do you want to reach? Do you want to stop that you get omnipresent in your market? Do you have a solution people are searching for? Or do you have a problem to solve and have the solution? So you have different ways and that's where your marketing research goes. So many, many people are under the impression when you do marketing, you put something out, throw something on the wall. And I always say it's like spaghetti. You take your spaghetti, throw it in the wall and say it sticks. That is not how marketing works. So you want to be clear what you want to get out of your marketing. So social media right now is the best and most effective, but you want to go really, really down what you want to do. So how do, to use the strategies? 
strategies on Facebook, Google, YouTube, TikTok. So you see already here and here, video is very, very big. Facebook turns into a video streaming platform and you want to get used to videos. We see videos have the most effective, especially on Facebook, Google, when you are using Google and uh, using um, YouTube advertising, not the one on here. This is a different one on Google we are using. And that is like a one minute and it brings big results. So you want to get used. You cannot use uh, YouTube advertising here when you are not doing video. So you want to be aware of this. YouTube and TikTok. So that's where you want to go. Video right now is also social media, a good strategy. One of the best strategies because now with videos, you are able to narrow in and starting to see who is watching your videos. So the videos you should do is the why. Let me go here. Why, how, and what. That's the videos you should focus on. Why, how, and what post those videos and see what is working. And the videos that works best, now we amplify what works best. And that's where we are putting the first time money behind it. So we always testing. We are not putting something out there. We are always testing and seeing what organic posts work best. And if needed, now we are amplifying and put for the first time very, very affordable money behind it. Not huge advertising, but now with the videos, now we are really, really can go in and wheel in who is watching the videos and seeing where they are in, in, in the platform. And it doesn't need to be only on, on Facebook. It's Google, it's YouTube, it's TikTok depending where you go, where you use your videos, it's always why, how, and what videos so that the people understand your why, your how, and your what. And that's how you get your message out and get what you want. And then when we see what works best, now we can lean in into the next strategies where we probably want to run some advertising if you want leads. It's all, you have to think, what you want to get out. Do you want to get known? Do you want leads? Do you want to stay in front of people? Especially with the what videos, how and why. We are using those to stay in front of the leads we are already having. Because when you have the lead, it doesn't end there, right? You need to stay in front of those people. Yes, they signed up, but they forgot already why they signed up, or maybe you put something out they found interesting. Now you have to, a chance to stay in front of your people and really, really stay in front and provide them more information so that they understand your why, how, and what. So you can rotate those. So we are always rotating these people and those videos. And now we are staying in front even of the leads we are having. Now we are giving them guides to download, always providing them value. So when they are ready, now they remember us. Goes all over platforms. Depending on the platform, it takes a little bit longer. Google, now you put out a quick one minute video, you put out a solution you are having for a problem they don't know they have. So there goes much, much more to it. And those are the best strategies, social media, video marketing. Of course, you can do other marketing as well. So like um, you could um, put pictures out there as well, but they don't have the most effect, right? So with static images and let's say you are pushing a listing, you want to make sure that you on the back end are able to see what is going on and to get everything into your data because you always want to know what is going on in here and we'll lean in into it. So first do your research and then here, let your data 
let your data um, let your data uh, drive your content, right? So testing, you have to test what is working. Maybe your why, how, and what videos are working. Maybe you put out quotes that are working very well. So always let your content drive your data. And when you see what works well, now you amplify and put more out of it. You could do more organic. You could put some money behind it. It's all depending what you want to get out. Yes, you will get maybe a few leads with organic, but you can stay in front of people, test what is working, and then do more of what is working. So it's always testing, testing, testing. Let your data drive you what you put out there. When your people are happy about listings, sure, put out more listings, but be very careful that you are not overwhelming them. So you want to know the audience you speak to, and you also want to know who is on your pages or who you want to put your stuff out there. It makes no sense, especially right now, when you put listings out there in front of people they, uh, who are not able to buy because they are now already six months, three months behind on their mortgage payments. They are out. They are not able to sell their place and buy a new because they have already late payments on their credit. So those are not the people. So you want to make sure that you speak to the right audience, that you segment your audience so that your stuff is seen by the right people. So especially when you are now going off the seller and that's what we are hearing every day, we need listings. What do you do to get listings? So are you door knocking and asking, do you can sell your house? Most people would sell, but they are not able to buy. That is the problem. They are not able to buy. And who is able to sell right now? Probably the people who are behind on their mortgage payments. They still have cash equity in their houses, but they didn't pay their mortgage. So that's the most people you want to reach. They could sell and now they have to rent for a year, get their credit back up before the foreclosure starts. So we know the memorandum was extended to June of 2021. Those people probably are three, six months or even a year uh, behind on their mortgage payments right now are able to rent uh, uh, stay in their place for free without paying the mortgages. And I know many, many are able to um, modify their mortgage, but we don't know what's coming. So those are probably the best people to reach right now when you are looking for seller. They have cash equity in their properties and they want to get out on the road. We don't know what is coming, but better get the people now before everybody keeps up June, July, and everyone gets off of them. Right now, I believe it makes no sense to go off the sellers when they have to sell a house but are not able to buy because nothing is on the market. Or you have a deal you know comes on the market and you can go with buyer and seller one way, but then you know you have to be very, very careful not to violate any laws, get the most um, ex uh, uh, ex um, the most um, uh, the most marketing out for your seller so that he can get the most price, the most exposure. Yeah, was the word, the most exposure. So um, that is where we are going. So, so you see, we can go really, really deep. Social media right now is the best platform you can use. Get used to a platform, learn the platform. And when you have one platform, now you can move to the next one and learn about that new platform, how it goes, how it ticks, what it does. I would recommend learn one strategy and then do the next. 
Also, I would highly recommend that you are not putting all your eggs in one basket. You want to make sure that if social media goes down for whatever reason, you have something else in your pipeline, right? We don't want to be only on one strategy. Social media, yes, you could do Facebook and YouTube when you are doing videos, right? But you want to make sure that you have several pipelines that you don't put all your eggs in one bag. So let me see my markets here. So now let's say you have all that is in, in hand and now you have I hate to say lead, actually every person you are, where you are getting name, number and email is a possibility, an opportunity for you to start relationships. Those people are real people. They are, I hate that word lead. They are people who you are able and have the opportunity to build a relationship early on when you are meeting them on social media. You start the relationship right there, if it's Facebook or YouTube or wherever. Um, Facebook, is, Facebook is a good platform for building relationships and now building that relationship and then taking it offline. So see every people where you get name, number and email. Now, this is an opportunity for you to build a relationship and you want to stay in front. And that's where we are seeing the next problem. Many, many real tools out there are having their follow up. What and how do you follow up? What strategy you are using? Are you using social media and stay only in social media in front of them? Or what is your next strategy when you get name, number, and email and somebody raised their hand? Even if you have a conversation, you want to stop and take that conversation somewhere else. Maybe you take it on Messenger, connect with them on Messenger. What is your strategy when, you, when somebody raises your hand? It doesn't mean they give you name, number, and email when you know who people are on Facebook and when they raise their hand. Now you want to build that relationship, maybe take them out into Messenger. So now when you know somebody raised their hand, what is your next marketing strategy? It is still a marketing strategy until they say get out or until you work with them. You build your relationship and what strategies are you using? So that is also very important that you have your follow-up strategy, which is a marketing strategies. Even now, because social media, we don't know what is happening. How you are handling all the people you are having in your email, in your CRM, Contact Relationship Management. How do you follow up? Do you have an email follow up in place where you are reaching out? Do you have a text message? Text message where you are reaching out strategically out to your people you are already having. So when somebody on social media raises their hand, I would go right into Messenger and now stop and keep the conversation there going. You could do Messenger and then stay in Messenger and ask, ask before you do. Ask if you could reach them on different avenues, if you could text them, if you could call them. Always stay where they are, where you meet them and then ask if you want to take them to a different level because people know where they are where they met you and when you suddenly uh, call somebody you talk to them on messenger and now suddenly you call they probably don't know who you are and will not take your phone call or even say why are you calling me we are talking on messenger so always ask when you want to change the avenue 
so that you are getting them out of social media. So what is your uh, uh, follow up with your? So you want to get them out of Messenger and probably into email because every email and phone number you are having, they are yours. Nobody can take that away. They are yours. Let's say Facebook shuts down. Now you can take that email and phone number. You also can use them on Google. No problem. You now can email them directly. You can text them directly. So that is a strategy you really, really need to think about. And also different people have different avenues of having a conversation with you. So some people want to stay email. Some people want to text. Some people want to be in messenger. And the older generation, sometimes they are even happy to get a nice letter or a postcard from you. So it's all depending what your audience is. So you want to think about and want to have a strategy with your marketing strategy. Marketing is as well email marketing, text marketing, messenger marketing. So you want to make sure that you cover everything. We are making sure that we always get email and phone numbers because those are ours let's say facebook shuts our account down i still can reach my people i still can reach them via text and email when facebook shuts me down i cannot even use messenger now yes there is a way around it but you have to figure it out but the quickest way i have email and phone number and can use those when i have that number and depending where the people are, now I can find them on different platforms. Maybe some are on LinkedIn. Maybe uh, you want to go over to Google or to YouTube or to TikTok. So there are so many things out there, but you want to make sure that you are getting used first to one platform and then moving out to the next one. So your strategy should go from internet marketing to email marketing, to text message marketing, and also to video marketing. Right now, you probably heard about the iOS changes. That is a huge thing, but we don't worry about it because we are doing video marketing. Video marketing means even if they are opting out on their iPhone to see uh, something from our advertising, I still can reach them with my videos, very strategic. So that's why we are not worried about all the iOS changes. Yes, there will come some changes, but we still have possibilities and also can reach them, especially with videos. When they watch my videos, I can see it in the back end and can collect that data and could put more videos, very strategic in front of them. So video marketing as well. If you reach to somebody out, you can video a message, you can video a text message, and again, you can do videos on your email. So you want to use video marketing in different strategies because this is the best form for people to get to know you. With the videos, they can see who you are, if you are their kind of people, right? So if they connect with you, that's they are seeing on video. When you meet me in person, you will hear my same accent. You will see my same hair and you see my face is as pretty as it is today and not like 30 years ago. Right. So you know what I mean with it. So that's where people connecting with you. Give them a chance to connect with you. That is very, very easy to do with video and don't overlook it. So just go over yourself. If you don't do the video, you are losing out. Especially you heard that now are more realtors out there than houses for sale. How do you think how you can stay in front of your audience? Video is for you the best chance. And when you do video, you will replace a realtor 
who doesn't do video, who didn't build their audience and is not present or omnipresent in their market. So let's go into the best social uh, or the single best strategy. You don't want to go single best. You want to have an effective strategies. Uh, on a big, big overview, social media is your best bet because you can strategic reach people. Yes, you also could go out there and door knock. If that is your thing, I have nothing against it. So if that works for you, sure, do it. If you are still send postcard, still do it and use that as an amplifier. So stay in front of people. Now, when you maybe get a door knocking or cold calling your name number and email, they are yours. Now you can upload them into social media and stay in front of those people you just met. Now they are seeing you on Facebook and they may maybe say like, oh, didn't he just knock on my door? Now I see him here on Facebook. And you always can remind them of you who you are and stay in front of them. The next strategies from social media, take them into email marketing, text message marketing, messenger marketing and video marketing. That is the strategies where I would go and what we are doing and we know it works. So you want to build out a strategy, right? It is not about the best marketing, the best advertising. If you don't build a strategy behind it and research what your consumers want, now that is a problem. That's why probably your advertising is not running the way you want it to run. That is maybe because you put the wrong message out. Those is for years. You need to put your message in front of the right market. If the market is not ready for your message, now that's why it's not working. So if you are talking about something nobody's interested in, hey, that's the wrong message to the market. So you want to have the right message to your market. That is where it's going. And now you would say, Annette, hey, what do I do? What should I post on, on social media? Or in general, it doesn't need to, you can send postcard emails. You want to educate people. Let them know why, how, and what. Why you do it, how you do it, what you do. Those is a frame you easily can follow. Why do you do what you do? Do you know? Put it in a video, put it in two videos, put it in three videos, four videos, five videos, post, whatever works for you. Now find the best post or video and now take that one and now amplify where you now put a strategy behind it. Most of the time we are doing videos and we are putting our video strategy where we are doing video views or reach into place, right? But before we even do that, we are testing and see how is the market reacting what we are putting out there. And then we pick the one which is the best one and that's where we are going for. So that's how you as well can do it. Do it in a way you feel comfortable first. Why, how, and what? You can do posts, you can do pictures, whatever you, I would recommend videos. So that is the quickest way for you to find out and then let people know, educate them about your why, how, and what. Why you do, what you do, how you do things, how you do, how you write contracts, how do you get your buyers the best price for the house, how you are getting the best price for your seller, how do you connect, how do you, whatever you do, do you have a USP, a unique selling proposition, right? I can sell your house in 30 days, if not, right? So that's where you are going. And then you do out your what? Never forget with your what? Your call to action, your CTA. Don't do call to action in your why and how. 
Just let them know you who you are on the end. Don't come in and say, hey, this is our net with XYZ real estate and today. No, just go in and on the end you say, and I am on net with XYZ real estate. So that you also can be compliant about uh, your people know already who you are. Hopefully, and I see it with many, many people, hopefully you have very, very visible on your business page as well on your uh, uh, personal profile that you are a realtor. So you want to make sure that people, when they check you out, that they see that you are a realtor. Many, many times when I look profiles, especially personal profiles, I don't know. So I get friends requests and then I don't know what they are doing because I don't see it in their profile. So you want to make sure that people, when they come to your page and to your profile, that they see what you do. So I put out yesterday for a reason the question, what means Facebook or YouTube or Google to you, right? Do you use it for pleasure or do you use it for business? So that's how you want to see it. So that is a strategy, right? So you have one huge social media strategies, which right now is the single best strategy. And now you are niching really, really down. Which platform do you want to use? Put out your follow up that needs to be in place too. And that's where we are seeing many, many are following up. They don't have a strategy and um, follow up strategy, a marketing strategy. The marketing goes stops here. But it goes through. Even if you have name, number, and email, doesn't mean that they will buy or use you as uh, to buy or sell with you. You still have to stay in front of people and also be very, very personalized. Don't make it all about business. Make it also personalized to your people. Allow them to get to know you. Allow them to get personal with you so that they get. So personal and personal, it's two things. You see, I almost, you have personal and personal, right? So really, really personal seeing me in the morning going into the bathroom. You never will see that, right? But going into the office, it's something different. So you want to be very, very strategic about it and don't overstep. So uh, when we talk about personal, it doesn't mean that you have to go personal, show your kids or so. Never. So I, I tell my clients that yeah, it's, no, uh, no, it's not necessary to show your kids. If you are comfortable, why not do it? But so in my case, you very, very will see rarely picture, a deeply picture of my family. So that's uh, how you want to see it and find a way that is comfortable to you. Marketing strategies, I just see that one, right? So I am German. So we are celebrating Easter. Now, what is the best strategy to kill that thing? At least that chocolate Easter bunny. Are you cutting out of the ears first or you're starting down below or you break it down or you're biting in? You see there are, it's just an Easter bunny. And now the strategy is how you eat them. Now, some people prefer, it's me, bite off the ears. Some are starting down there, some are breaking it down and putting on the table. So that is the same thing. If you think a social media is working for you, I think right now in this market, it is still, still the best strategy for you to get in. Facebook is not that. Yes, there are more and more people on Facebook and coming on there every day, but that also means it is an opportunity to new uh, to meet new people, right? So you don't, uh, I just talked the other day to somebody and it's like, you are crying and yelling for buyers and sellers, right? Why? because you didn't do 30, 90 days ago, what should get you buyer and seller today. It is always a pipeline. You will very, very rarely meet somebody who says, okay, I have 600,000 in cash, 
let's meet tomorrow. I want to buy a house tomorrow. That is a long process. That is your pipeline. You always want to feed your pipeline. Get new people in. Get new people in. And you lose them when you don't have your marketing, follow-up marketing strategies. It is easy to catch them. That, that is very, very easy. The hot part is to, when you have them, now to stay in front of them and let them know uh, uh, always what you're doing. What is your follow-up strategies? Do you email, text, message, video? Do you educate? So we also, our clients, we have written an, 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 um, an follow-up that nobody else is having. So that is not a trip. That is something where we are educating our buyer and seller in the process of buying and selling why they should not go to a, a new construction house without a realtor what they should do when they go to for sale by owner what where they should look what they should uh, think about doing when they want to buy a house like looking where maybe the best restaurants are playing crowd dog parks depending what their preference is so you want to educate them what goes in before they even buy a house right so it's not about yes we are all also going in into um, financing. So we are letting them know they should take a look what, how they can easily find out for a ballpark, what they can afford, what they should see. Maybe they should uh, save a little bit longer, maybe should take a higher down payment. So that's where we all educating them. And then we are following up every 21 days and once a week, they get new information via video where we are sending out strategic videos where they now can also search properties, but also know exactly what goes on. So you always want and even so don't worry if they don't open their email. You want to make sure that your name is in that email, right? Even if they don't open that email, they will see your name. They will remember your name. You want to make sure that your name is on top. When even if they don't open their email, that they see your email, that they see your name. Oh, she wrote me again. Oh, there she is again. Oh, oh. Even if they don't get hang up, on opening the email, make sure that they see every week at the same time your email. Like you see from me, I send every week at the same time my email out. Even if people don't open it, they will see my name. We know now buyer and seller, it takes at least seven, eight, 12 touches, if not even more, before they move forward and want to reach out and let you know that they are in the market of buying or selling. Or if somebody wants our service, same thing, it takes time. You want the people to get to know you first and use different avenues to stay in front of them. Email, text, social media, um, uh, uh, video so that makes it very very easy and that is a very good strategy right now the best available it can change it is today we don't know what is tomorrow we know ai is out there everything is taken over over ai so that you don't even have to stay in contact anymore but now we are even able to run our advertising through an ai where the AI knows sometimes better about the people who are in our pipeline. So think a long-term strategy. Always get new people in. We know they are falling out because now you are squeezing them, right? You want to get as many people as in here. 
right? And then we are running them through the funnel and then they are coming out as their who are ready. Some are over here 12 to 18 months, some are over here six months and the ones who are ready, they are down here, they are ready. But it takes time because you don't have buyer or sellers or screaming for somebody to have a contract with because you didn't remember that three or six months ago. It's always an ongoing thing. And think about building relationships. It is about the relationship you are building with your audience so that they trust you. That is all what it comes down. And when you stop meeting people on social media, now when you get warm with them, take them off of social media, get them into text messages. Maybe you call them very, very easy to do to stay in contact and then use video to have your face in front of them. So that's where you are building the relationship. Social media is a good point to stop. And then it's depending where you are. If you use Facebook, Google, YouTube, or whatever platform, those tools are, and now we also have a, a, a Clubhouse. I have no, honestly, I have no experience on Clubhouse. I am an Android user, so I cannot, um, I could get my opinion on it, but I don't want to. Let's put it this way, because I didn't experience. It's always the new shiny object. Learn first one platform. Learn it, understand it, and use it. And if it works for you, amplify it. And then move your attention to something else in addition to the one you know already. Very, very important. Just don't go, oh, now we have Clubhouse. Oh, now we have TikTok. Oh, YouTube is now the newest thing. Stay with one. Learn it. And then move on to the next one. There is always new stuff coming on, always. Yes, I'm a little bit sad I cannot be on Clubhouse because I heard many, many good things about Clubhouse, but I'm not freaking out of it. There is enough business for everyone. Even if I'm not on there today, probably I will be on there tomorrow when, it, when they make it available. But you see, Facebook also is working on a kind of Clubhouse forum. So we will see, there is always enough business for everyone, especially when you are talking about the old. So I don't know how Clubhouse comes over for me because I talked to a gentleman and that sticked in my head. He said he or most people, native speaking um, English speaker, right? They, we have their full attention with our accent because they really have to listen what we are saying to understand because we have an accent. So they, most of the time he said, he is 90 to 100% focused on me so that he can understand what I'm saying. So I don't know if a clubhouse will work for me and I'm not freaking out. Yes, it would be nice when I can be on clubhouse and get rid of all the writing. But with Clubhouse, probably I have the advantage of you know who I am because of my accent. You know who I am on YouTube because you see me. You know who I am on Facebook. You know who I am. So I don't know, TikTok, yes, you know who I am on TikTok as well. So, but I'm not freaking out. I stay with the platforms I know, and that's YouTube, Google, Facebook. Yes, I looked into, but I'm not doing it too much right now. I'm still staying here. That is where my attention is. Facebook, Google, YouTube. And I started out like you guys four years ago. Started out with Facebook. Learned the platform really, really well. Know how it ticks. Stay on top all the time. Then we are moved to YouTube and Google know how it works. I focus more on Google, not too much on YouTube, but I am using Google advertising together with YouTube. So that is, yes, I have my videos, but 
hey, we can we have only so much time, so I focus on those platforms. Maybe you want to focus on a, a clubhouse and TikTok if that is your thing. Why not? Now with YouTube, the new um, uh, shorts came out. I still have to learn about the shorts. We are doing them. We don't know exactly how it will work out because if you are using your shorts on your regular YouTube channel, you are telling YouTube different things. So that can hurt you in the long run. If they are only watching one your one minute videos, but we know YouTube want long term. YouTube want you to stay and watch those videos. So you uh, get penalized if people are getting off after 30 seconds a minute or so, because now YouTube looks for view time. So that is a new, everybody jumps on shorts. I tell always, let the other ones find out first and everything when everything is settled. Now I can learn from them what worked from them and I didn't screw up my channels or whatever is going on. All right, guys, so I gave you my strategy. I am thinking is the most effective, especially for real estate. It's, um, it is social media. It's still where you can reach the most people. But now you really want to go down because probably as a real estate agent, you are out there to lead generate. So you really want to think a whole strategy. What do you do? What do you want out of Facebook? That is the number one question. Every morning I have one hour of Facebook time. I know exactly what I do on Facebook. Five minutes friend request, 20 minutes interaction, five men, minutes tendering, uh, looking other people's profile. So I know exactly and then I get out. I didn't do that first and wasted a lot of time. But now I have a strategy. It's one hour. I know exactly what I want out of Facebook. And you want to think the same thing. What do you want out of your marketing strategies? If you just want leads, just post them. But probably you want to build a relationship with the people who give you name, number, and email. Now you need a strategy to follow up with them. So think from the beginning until the end. And it makes it much, much easier. And keep in mind, it is a long-term strategy. You want to build relationship with your audience, with your people, so that you can take them from online to offline where you have better, much, much better interaction and where you now can be a valuable resource for them. So let's see if we have any questions here. Let me refresh because I don't see any question in here. And you see the work strategy is very, very important. It is very, very important. All right. So if you have any question, put them down below. I'm happy to go into it and uh, answer them. If you are watching this in the replay, also put them down below. And I see you see my lights in here. I don't know what is going on today. Maybe the sun has shifted. So I don't know. So my face is a little bit dark, maybe because I'm in a little bit in a different direction to the window. So, but excuse me, uh, the little light you see. So it's like I am, oh, I'm an angel, right? <laughs> so, but ask your question, ask away. I am here. You have five more minutes of me. If you are watching this in the replay, put it down below. Then put down hashtag replay and the city you are watching from. So uh, we want to really, really go deep, a little bit deep. You want to think about the overall strategies, right? It's the same thing when you are niching down. You want to know to which audience you are speaking. Is it a buyer? Is it a seller? First time home buyer, second time home buyer, vacation home properties. So you understand then 
maybe the age range, right? When I talk to somebody who is five years old and I talk to them about real estate or marketing, I have to talk to them differently than when I would speak to a 15 year old or even to a 25 year old. Five years, I know already, they have no education. 15, they went already to school, they can read and write. But when I'm talking to somebody who is 25 and up, I know they probably went already to college, has their, uh, um, has it made into the working uh, world, so they know already what is going on. And that is the same thing. The more you niche down, the better you understand your people and your audience. The more you niche down into social media and understand where your audience is. Most people are on Facebook, absolutely. Many people are on YouTube. So that's, you want to understand if you are speaking to professional people, maybe you want to move into LinkedIn. So that, that platform is a little bit more professional. So learn about your audience, do your research. What is your audience, right? So when you have vacation home properties, you probably want to advertise uh, to a higher age range. I don't know if young people will buy vacation properties. Probably they cannot afford. So you are looking probably in the range between 40 and up. Do your research. What is your audience? Then find out on what platforms they are. So do you want, if you know the platform, so if you know Facebook, Google, and YouTube, now you know where the people are. Here are they are looking more for entertainment, looking what their family is doing and you can come in and start building your relationship on Google. They know they have a problem, but they don't know the solution. And on YouTube, they know they have a problem. They know they have the solution and work for the solution. And that's how you structure everything. And then you take everything up here where you have your follow up with your people who gave them name, number, and email. And now that is your marketing strategy, email, texting, video, uh, messenger, whatever those people are preferring. So, all right, guys, thank you for your time, staying the whole time with me today. I hope it was very helpful to understand a little bit more. It is not just to put out an advertising or to put something out there, you want to be strategic. The work lies in strategy. So if there are no questions, if you are watching this in the replay, or even you are staying here with me and have any questions later down the road, put them in the group, tag me. I will be always coming back and answer all your questions question. Make sure that you do your research, make sure you understand the platforms where your people are, and then it's easy to reach them and put your follow-up strategy into place. All right, so I have two minutes behind most of the time, so make sure uh, if you are watching in replay, put down your question. Otherwise, I will see you next Thursday, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Until then, thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.